Could you uh, help me in a, in a way? I want to ask a question. Like, how how does one say um, a white? How does a white person say that they're not racist? I know you have. I have done things in my life I recognize as racist today. I would not do them again. Uh, they were neither intentional or even conscious, and yet they wounded other people nonetheless. I think white people should remove that phrase from their vocabulary. I'm not racist. It's not, I, trust me, it's not convincing to black people. As long as we define. <laughs> so so we, I know we established that already. What's this the is thing amazing. that is convincing? Yeah, Jenny Fallon's like, so how do you say you're not racist? And yeah. she's like, well, you can't. <laughs> That's the answer to the question. Like, oh can't. my God. <laughs> you can't. That's her answer to the question. It's hilarious. You just have to live with it, Jimmy. I'm in front of a mixed race group. Uh, and I ask the black people in the room a kind of rhetorical question. How often have you attempted to give a white person feedback on their inevitable and often unaware racist assumptions or behaviors and have that go well for you? Never is the answer to that. Nobody wants to hear that fucking, nobody wants to hear that shit, dude. How often have you had a conversation with someone where you accuse them of being a Nazi? Yeah, exactly. It's gone well. Hmm? Like, can you imagine? Like, you have a black friend over. Like, there's black right. writers all the time at uh, Deadline Chunkies. Can you imagine if I decide to have a conversation with them about, like, I'm so glad that you didn't turn to crime. <laughs> I'm so glad that you, you know, that you decided to become a writer and not, you know, become a criminal. I know. I know. I, it's so nice that you could escape your culture of criminality. I feel good for you. Well, no, see, this is even <laughs> worse. Because she, she's saying, like, she wants them to be confronted on their racism. Right? I know. I know. But th it's the same exact thing to think all You're black right. people are, are, like, cri are, are, like, swimming in criminality. It's the same thing to think all white people are fucking swimming in racism. Right, right. I guess, I guess she's making the argument that they, I don't know, <laughs> like... The person did something that was like a like potentially a microaggression. I don't know. Yeah, they they made some microaggression and then they get called out on it. And they're like, right. "This is this is a pro this is why this is so bullshit." Okay, I want someone to ask Rob and D'Angelo this question: Is it possible for a black person or any minority to be offended by something and think a white person did something racist or said something racist, but be wrong and it actually isn't racist? Is that yeah. even a possibility that can exist in our entire universe? Well, she would say yes, but in reality, I don't like. Well, I want would, her to. I want her to give me an example. Yeah, you want her to be on the record. See, that's right. This is the problem with this kind of thinking because you're creating a bazillion false positives out there. Right. Like some guy has a bad day and he's like short with you, and all of a sudden it's racism. No, I'm right. going to be short with anyone. Right. Like, yeah, I'm fighting with my wife. Give me my fucking coffee. <laughs> like, it's not the color of your skin. It's I'm fucking in a bad mood. Right. Like, exactly. that creates false positives all day, every day. Like, all of a sudden, it's like a, a bad day. You know, a anywhere, you end up uh, you end up waiting too long, and you assume, oh, it's because I'm black. <laughs> like, come on. You're just setting people up for failure. It's so sad. It's very sad. Never. Number two uh, response, rarely. And I'll never forget asking a group, okay, so what if you could just give us feedback on our inevitable and often unaware racist assumptions and behaviors? And I'll never forget this black man raising his hand and saying, it would be revolutionary. And, 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 you know, just like, just take that in. I just want all the white people to just take that in. Revolutionary, that we would receive the feedback with grace, reflect, and seek to change our behavior. That's how difficult we are. Wow. That's how we big are. a a yeah. We are. I don't yeah. think anyone's going to respond positively to being accused of being of a secret, yeah. unconscious, unknown racist. Totally. Yeah. That's not going to go well. Well, so, she's setting see, up, she's making the case that like all white people are racist, just that, like. Right. Make it so miserable for, for black people to talk to us 
about what they're experiencing from us than most of the we, we make it so easy for or we make it so hard on black people to accuse us of racism yeah fuck yeah, yeah we make it hard on them like wouldn't you i know i know come on so the time they just don't it's not worth it it tends to get worse not better yeah. and so in that way white fragility is, is quite powerful and it protects the racial status quo could you uh, help me in a, in a way? I want to ask a question. Like, how how does one say um, a white? How does a white person say that they're not racist? Well, white people often. Dude, fucking Jimmy Fallon is a killer. That's the best question. Isn't that hilarious? That's awesome. That's totally awesome. So, in the white fragility like framework saying that you're not racist is like an indicator that you are super fucking racist so right. like uh, <laughs> jimmy fallon is just saying it seems like there's a problem here that you can't really claim to not be racist so how would you do, how would you do that hmm it's also you can interpret like he's like you gotta tell me how to say it right because i want to be not racist yeah exactly exactly <laughs> what's the se do i have to do the secret handshake first is there, is there a handshake is there like a code phrase i could throw out like how do i do this you read my book on the airplane and you let you mm -hmm. don't say anything you let right. the book do the talking for you right so let's see how she answers this question say i'm not racist I know you have, I have done things in my life I recognize as racist today. I would not do them again. Uh, they were neither intentional or even conscious, and yet they wounded other people nonetheless. I think white people should remove that phrase from their vocabulary. I'm not racist. It's not, I, trust me, it's not convincing to black people. As long as we define so, so I know we established that already. What's this the is thing amazing. that is convincing? Yeah, Jenny Fallon's like, so how do you say you're not racist? Yeah. And she's like, well, you can't. <laughs> That's the answer to the question. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> you can't. That's her answer to the question. It's hilarious. You just have to live with it, Jimmy. You have to live with it. You have to live with it there it. in your heart. Yep. And racism as individual intentional acts of meanness, then I would agree with you that most white people are not racist. He has like no clue what she's talking about. He's just yeah. like staring into the abyss of like misery. I don't understand this too. Because Dying inside. Like it, they seem to be saying that having like putting up some facade of respect or niceties mm -hmm. is not enough that like you really have to feel it in your heart. And I'm sorry, like there are so many people that just bug the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> like it's everything it it takes everything inside of me to maintain the niceties and i do it because i want it to be you know i, I want things to go nicely you know I, right. I want things to be comfortable for me and other people right right but it's almost like no that's not good enough <laughs> like you have to you have to feel it in your heart I, that seems like a big ask for most people it's a big ask yeah, yeah it is what yeah. the hell not many people can attain that level of just joy about every <laughs> single person that they interact with. Has this, must, per, has, has this woman never met annoying people before? You must feel the anti-racism in every heart and soul and cell of your being, Adam. It must vibrate out of you. Yeah. In every direction, in every word, every breath you take, you must be woke. Well, it kind of takes the onus off of a lot of people too who are just naturally assholes like you can't hate them because right, they're assholes right. because they're like some minority. well you can't if they're white well there are a lot of white assholes so thank right. little little we got we have a little little uh yeah little silver lining in that yeah racist but when i'm talking about the racism that I have, the racism that you have, it's, it's the result of living in a society in which racism is the foundation. We all absorb it. We all absorb it. There's no way we can. Some, you want to question her on that? Like, what are, you, what are you talking about? What is the foundation of racism that we currently live in? Yeah. Explain that to me, lady. This is how I how I equate this to being a religion and how them talking right. about God because uh, you know a religious person would say you know God is the foundation of reality like you, you gotta take it on faith yeah yeah you can't you can't like 
reality is undiscernible without God. Are you American, Adam? Yeah. Then you must be born in a racist society. <laughs> I know, you just have to accept so the racism in your heart and your soul. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm not like I didn't grow up your religion. <laughs> I'm not going to be your religion. You crazy. You fucking Scientology motherfucker. Blasphemer. <laughs> Spell the non believer. Racist. Racist. Burn him. Burn him. I mean, this is so weird because it is like we're being taken over by Scientologists and everyone's just right. like, can you imagine if if all of the uh, woke companies came out and made you like change your profile picture to some Scientology thing? Like, and if you didn't, like you were chastised. You and, had to put Xenu on your avatar, yeah. Like, what the fuck? I just don't understand. People are so, I mean, th it's funny because They've created this society, and it's kind of a good thing that they're abusing because people should be ashamed to be racist. Like, that's a good right. thing. But then to, to turn little nonsense into uh, you're a racist, like you're literally damaging something it took, like, generations to build. Right. It's so it isn't, evil. Right. No, that's a, that's a great point. Isn't the fact that the term racist is so toxic that people are so afraid of being labeled a racist? Isn't that like an indicative sign that society has progressed so much in terms of race issues? Yeah. Yeah. It's a sign of success. And they will just want to come out and fucking shit all over that. Yep. They want to say, now that we've got you by the throat, let's just twist that knife a little more. <laughs> <laughs> racist. Racist. <laughs> We could exempt ourselves from it. And so we need to change our question from if I'm racist, to which most white people will say no, no. to how have I been shaped by the forces of racism <laughs> I was born into and how is it manifesting in my How is that not God talk? I swear to God, just put substitute God in for racism and all this makes perfect sense. Yep. I'm serious. My life, it's a really different question. Yeah. But if I ask if, and the answer is no, what further action is required of me to challenge racism? See, nothing. I that's the key here. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the key with the P plus P equals R shit. All of this theory is bullshit, okay? It's all ends justify the mean stuff. It's all, I want to motivate white people to act a certain way. Totally, So yes. therefore, I'm going to redefine all these terms <laughs> to make people inherently racist to force them to act in a way that I want. Yeah, it's it's pushing progressive politics. It's like we have right. this this baseball bat now called calling people racist, and we want people to be progressives. So <laughs> let's let's use the baseball bat to make them act progressive. Exactly, it's, it's very exactly. insidious. But that's why, and that's why they're so against science and STEM because none of this shit is based off of data. It's all no. backwards. It's all. It's all, it's like the communist people. So they all have some utopia dream they see and then they're going to work backwards to try to force people to agree with them. It's not I'm not racist. If I ask how have I been shaped and what is it looking like in my life, well, that sets me on a lifelong process. And, and I can just tell you, look around at the society. White people thinking we're not racist is not and has not ended racism. <laughs> we have to change our paradigm. We can never be complacent. So where can white people start? I would say my start book. with asking yourself this question. What does it mean to be white? Most <laughs> white people can't answer that question. And if I can't hold what it means to be and, white, and, and I a, and, cannot and, hold. Oh my God, we're both pausing at the same time. <laughs> and that's a bad thing? Come on. That's a, I was going to say, that's a great thing. It's a great thing. It's a totally great thing. Why do you want, like... <laughs> You, you know, know who, who answers, answers the question? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who has you know the fucking who, answer? Go ahead. You know who has answered the question of what it means to be white? Yeah, go ahead. Who is white it? White nationalist. Have fucking A. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Richard Spencer yeah. can answer that question for Why you. Why okay. the fuck are you playing right into their hands, Robin DeAngelo? You stupid fucking bat. Like, seriously. Seriously. You know who, when they ask, when they finally ask that question that you're saying, this is the place to start. You know what they, when they Google that fucking answer for that question, you know where they end up? You dumb fucking bitch. Oh my God.
What an idiot. I know. It's fucking crazy. And all the, oh, maybe this is what it is for me to be white. The, the, see, this <laughs> is what these people don't understand anything about psychology. They don't they profess to. Because they're like, we want white people to start thinking about their their racial identity, but only in negative terms. Yeah. <laughs> you know, totally. don't have any positive yeah. feelings totally. about their racial identity. I'm like, right. what the fuck? Are you a moron? You can't do that okay this is the whole point this is why people just tried to get rid of racial identities totally okay? totally that's the solution they Not wanted to, they came up with an identity that's like an american identity you know and let's if you want to talk about building an, Imer, an american identity that like embodies the history of the african americans in this country which is mm -hmm. like horrible like right. acknowledged Let's build that identity, but to fucking racialize the identity and try to basically start a second civil war over this shit is bonkers. It's fucking bonkers. What it means not to be white. And I'm going to have no critical thinking on this topic, no skills to navigate this uncomfortable conversation and no emotional capacity to withstand how uncomfortable the conversation is. But don't worry if you if it gets too uncomfortable for you. There are people on the internet that will make you feel very comfortable about right. your white identity. They're called yeah. the alt right. Yeah, exactly. Fucking uh, Robin D'Angelo is the fucking alt right pipeline. Robin D'Angelo alt right pipeline confirmed. Yeah, exactly. And that means black people can't be their authentic selves with us. There are if every person, yeah, if every school and every business had to go through Robin D'Angelo's quote anti racism training, you would see a huge uptick. Oh, totally. White nationalists. All right, totally. would explode. Totally. See, if the all right was smart, this is what they would do. They'd create this, <laughs> they would oh. make sure that this shit is taught in every Well, we already school. said she's like, the twist is that she's a fucking all right shill. I, yeah, I, maybe I, she Like, is. it's making maybe more sense. Maybe she's the secret alt writer. Consequences to us not being able to answer that question. And if you start there, how has being white shaped my life? And Jimmy is like, just let it end. I know. He's looking he's Just let asleep. it end. How is that manifesting in my life? Um, that will set you on a lifelong path. Uh, Dr. D'Angelo, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me <laughs> and being on. The I'm, I understood none of what you said. He asked her like two questions and is like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> this is garbage. Totally. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.